What's going on, Arizona sports fan family? Appreciate you guys for stopping in. Today, I want to talk about yesterday's practice from the Arizona Cardinals. They ended up practicing with the full black alternate helmets, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just tell you one thing. These things are absolutely amazing. I love them. And that's why I had to purchase my own. If you could take a look right here, I had to purchase my own. And, and it's absolutely amazing thing here. I'm very excited about Arizona Cardinals versus the uh, the Baltimore Ravens second preseason game. Now, we're not going to talk about that in this video. I want to talk about the level of you know excitement that I have for this preseason and just the season in general and other updates for the Arizona Cardinals. That's what we're going to dive into today, ladies and gentlemen. Roll that intro. All right, everybody, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro today, what I want to talk about is just some updates for the Arizona Cardinals. Just overall, we made some cuts, nothing too crazy, but some dates to kind of look out for. And on top of that, just this is a thing of beauty here, ladies and gentlemen. The Arizona Cardinals, for the first time, ended up practicing with the black alternate helmets. And just look at these bad boys here. Look, look, look at these things here, man. We got Kyler Murray. We got Marquise Hollywood Brown. Um, and then we got Buda Baker and James Conner just, just rocking out those new alternate helmets. Just the really awesome thing to, to see here. Now, the Arizona Cardinals did make some updates in terms of they ended up cutting some players now i am going to butcher some of these names so i apologize definitely go ahead and let me know and make fun of me in the chat no no worries I, I can care less but this ended up happening on sunday so keep that in mind now some dates to look out for is august the 26th where we're probably going to be trimming some more people off as well and i believe by the end of august i believe it's the 30th is when we're gonna have to come out with the 53 men roster or at least close to that date so keep in mind that we still got some time where uh, we're gonna have a lot of players on here that most likely won't make it and we got to get through the preseason and having those camp bodies on here to, to kind of show what a lot of these players can do for the Arizona Cardinals. So here are the real quick updates. These are the players that have been released. So defensive lineman uh, Kingsley Kiki, offensive lineman um, Hagai Nadubasai. I, I butchered that and I know I did. Offensive lineman Greg Long, running back Ronnie Rivers, and then cornerback Breon Borders. Now we've seen him a little bit last year. It's for the best that he ends up getting cut. It's just... We'll have to kind of wait and see. I think cornerback is still kind of a, a big topic of choice for Arizona Cardinal fans, but I digress. Those are the players that have been released on Sunday. Now, another thing I want to talk about here is that Cliff Kingsbury did talk to the media, and he said he's very excited because this is the first time he had a four-wide receiving set. DeAndre Hopkins. AJ Green, Marquise Hollywood Brown, and Rondell Moore. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is an offense to fear. And that's just wide receivers. That's not talking about our tight ends. That's not talking about our dynamic running back core. This is going to be an offense that's going to shock the world. And I'm very excited to see how all four of them are going to match up in the same play. It's going to be really hard to, to stop all of them. Let's just say that. Now, one other thing that I definitely want to mention here as well is I got a real quick clip here, and it is going to be Kyler Murray's connection with Marquise Hollywood Brown. We're already starting to see the preview of what it's going to look like in the 2022 season, and I do believe this is going to be a thing to watch come 2022 season. Let's check this clip out. Marquise Hollywood Brown, super excited to connect with his quarterback um, from OU. And I'm I'm assuming Kyler Murray is very excited about having Marquise Hollywood Brown as a weapon as well. So well, we're excited, right? Overall, very excited uh, for the updates here for the Arizona Cardinals. It looks like uh, Trey McBride is training in the right direction. But let's be honest, I don't think we're going to get a full update if he's going to be playing in the second preseason game. Um Except for we're probably going to get it on maybe Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to find a little bit more out. Now, uh, Cliff Kingsbury did also talk about um, Marco Wilson as well as Zayvon Collins. He did say that his plan is to get them more snaps. The more snaps, the better. Now, I do think that they are going to be starters because... Marco Wilson, we don't really have anybody else, so he's kind of he's got kind of to stuck to be the starter for us. But Zayvon Collins needs the reps; he's going to get the reps, and I do believe that's uh, the best uh, course of action for him. That's just going to be your Tuesday update here for the Arizona Cardinals. And let me know how you guys are feeling about the alternate helmets. Now, one last little plug I want to say here: we will be wearing the alternate helmets for the Arizona Cardinals in this game versus the Baltimore Ravens. So if you want to see them live in action, definitely tune in to the. Um, uh, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Arizona Cardinals game this coming Sunday. That's all I got, everybody. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, go Cards.